everybody and welcome to my 21st Microsoft Access 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use an append query to uh, add extra data into a table uh, so it's kind of similar to the last one except instead of updating the existing data uh, with a bulk upload we're bulk uploading extra information into the table so I've got one table called sales uh, and then I've got another new table called new sales um, and the new tail table is just exactly the same as the sales table, it's just got some extra data. So in this scenario, someone sent you across a list of new sales and you just need to add them into your, uh, into your sales. So this can be mostly useful, I find, for kind of archiving queries uh, and things like that. Uh, and so if you want to have the sample data go into my uh, samples download on the website in the link below and it will be in the to 21 folder and then my database 21 and so let's get started so let's go to create query design and then we're going to select the table that we want to take our data from so i'm going to take my data from the new sales and i'm going to put it into the sales now in my design ribbon i'm going to click on the append button and I'm going to select the sales table because that's the table that I'm going to append to and press OK. So now I've got my query design box available uh, and I can add all my things in. So I'm not going to add in sale ID and the reason for that is because it's my primary key and it's set up as an auto number uh, and it's actually because it's an auto number it's the same in both tables. Uh, but that's not to worry because if I just ignore it and add in the rest of the information it's going to fill in the auto number for me. So I'm going to add in my user ID and you'll notice that down here in this append to column uh, it's got a drop down and you just select which fields do you want it to append to. So if your field names are different you just need to select them. Uh, luckily with my tables they're both the same so when I put it in it notices that they're the same and just automatically fills it in for me uh, which is what will happen for you most of the time it's just sometimes you've got two tables where someone's called one a slight different to what you've called it um, so that is the query setup so now if we save this as add new sales press ok press close uh, and now I can run this and it's going to say you're about to run a pen query yes I want to run it and it's going to tell me how many rows I'm going to append and you've got a choice of yes or no now so I'm going to press yes and now when we go into our sales you'll notice that I've got all of the extra sales now added into my sales table uh, and you'll see that the auto number has automatically put them as 11 through to 20 because I missed that field out in the append. So just be a bit careful with the auto numbers because they, if you get it wrong, it will, it will go completely wrong. Uh, and uh, that's going to be it for this tutorial. That's how you use a pen query. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below or go onto the forum in the description. Uh, and if you're enjoying these tutorials, please click the big subscribe button uh, or little subscribe button. I can't remember how big or small it is. It's normally around there or down there. Um, and I will appreciate you muchly for it and you'll be, be able to see when I upload new videos and things which I do pretty much every Wednesday uh, so thanks for listening and I'll catch you in the next tutorial